Hello grade nines, today we are going to do some more complicated expressions on, when was it, sometime last week we did a lesson on how you multiply binomials and we also spoke in that lesson about what we do when there is some kind of expression written just outside a bracket and that you have to then multiply that into the bracket. So today we are now going to be doing more complicated expressions where you are required to do more steps and multiply more things together. So in the first example, we have been given 2x times x plus y. Now that is one term. And then remember pluses and minuses separate terms. So that will be our second term. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to multiply the 2x into the bracket by the x and the positive y. So that will give us 2x times x is 2x squared and 2x times y is 2xy. Now from the next term, we are again going to have to multiply whatever is, is written against or in front of that bracket, which in this case is negative 3y. We must multiply that by both terms in the brackets. So we must multiply negative 3y by 2x, that's negative 6xy. And then we're going to say negative 3y times negative 3y, that is positive 9y squared. Now that we've multiplied out, we need to look for like terms. And I'm sure you guys can notice that we do have like terms here. Plus 2xy minus 6xy. Those are like terms. So when I do simplify those, I'm going to leave my 2x squared in front. 2xy minus 6xy is negative 4xy. And then we have plus 9y squared. All right, so that was the first example. In the second example, we have three terms. So we have that negative x that we're going to have to multiply in the bracket, into the bracket rather. We have a positive 2 that we're going to have to multiply into the bracket. And then on its own, we have a positive x. Before I can add that x to anything else, if we're looking at the three terms that we have here, none of them are like terms currently. So we're going to have to multiply the brackets out. The negative x must go into the bracket. We must multiply it by x and by 5. So I'm going to get negative x squared and negative x times 5 is negative 5x. Next up we must multiply the 2 by the x and the negative 5. So that's going to give me plus 2x minus 10. And then we have our plus x which is on its own at the back of that or after those two brackets that we've just multiplied out. Now we need to look for like terms. So we have a minus 5x plus 2x and then we have that final plus x. Those three are all like terms. So we have our negative x squared. Now negative 5x plus 2x is negative 3x. And when we add another x to it, we get negative 2x. And then we are going to end with negative 10. All right, those three terms are not like terms. We can't simplify that any further. So that is done. Okay, in the next example, again, we have an x that we must multiply by both terms in the brackets. But here, because we have two binomials that we're multiplying together, remember, we are going to have to foil those brackets out. Okay, so let's do the x first. x times x is x squared plus x times 1 is x. Next up, we're going to say foiling out. We're going to do the firsts. So x times x is x squared. Right, those are the firsts, x times x. All right, next up is outers, x times positive 2. That will give us plus 2x. So that is our next product. Then we're going to do inners. So positive 1 times x is plus x. And then last, we're going to say 1 times 2 is 2. All right, now that we've multiplied all the brackets out, we can now again collect like terms. So x squared plus x squared, actually, those are like terms. So that's going to give us 2x squared. And then if we're looking for all our, our x terms, let's do a different color. We have positive x plus 2x plus another x. So that is plus 4x altogether. And then next up, plus Two. That's the constant term, the term with no variable, the last term there. All right. Now we're basically just going to practice more of these. So I would like for you to do number four on your own. So quickly pause this video, do the, the calculation. When you're done with the calculation, 
come back to the video and just see if you got it right. Okay, so we're going to say x, time, x squared times x squared, then x squared times x, then x squared times negative 2. So x squared times x squared is x to the 4, plus x squared times x is x cubed, and then x times negative 2, or x squared, sorry, times negative 2 is negative 2x squared. Next up, we have negative x that we are now going to multiply into these brackets. So we're going to say negative x times x cubed is negative x to the power of 4. Negative x times negative x squared is positive x cubed. Negative x times x is negative x squared. And negative x times negative 1 is positive x. Again, we are looking for like terms. We have an x to the 4 minus x to the 4. That's nice. They actually cancel each other out. x to the 4 minus x to the 4 is equal to 0. Then we have a, let me change this color. Let's do red again. We have an x cubed plus x cubed. That will give us 2x cubed. All right, then we have some x squared terms as well. We have negative 2x squared minus x squared. That is negative 3x squared. And then finally, we are left with a plus x. That is the only x term in this expression. Okay, now for number five, we haven't done binomials that are squared yet. But what I want you to remember is that when you are squaring something, you are basically multiplying that thing by itself. So a plus b squared is the same as a plus b times a plus b. And in the same breath, a plus 2b squared is the same as a plus 2b times a plus 2b. Now we have two products of binomials that we have to do. So we're going to have to FOIL twice. We're going to have to FOIL with our first two brackets. So remember FOIL stands for first. So if I do first times first, a times a is a squared. Then outer, so if I do a times b, that's a b. Inner, b times a again is a b. And then for last, b times b is b squared. Okay, so that is the first pair of brackets now that we have multiplied out. Next up, we're going to FOIL the, the last two brackets in this expression. Again, we're going to do firsts first. So a times a is a squared. Now for our outers, we're going to do a times 2b, which is 2ab. And now for our inners, we're going to have the same product, 2b times a, which is another plus 2ab. And then we're going to do our last terms, 2b times 2b is plus 4b squared. Okay, like terms, a squared plus a squared, that is 2a squared. Next up, AB plus AB, that's 2AB, plus 2AB, that's 4AB, plus another 2AB is 6AB. And lastly, we have multiple B squared terms. So if I say plus B squared plus 4B squared, that is going to give me positive 5B squared. All right, again, I would like you to do this. Oh, actually, maybe I should do this one with you and then you guys can do the last one on your own. Here we now actually have three parts of an expression that we are having to multiply together. So we have a three, a whole number, and we have a product of binomials. Now guys, many people like multiplying the three into the first bracket, but the key to that is that, I'll just show you the first step. Um, don't copy this down, just look at it. So when you do 3 times x, you're going to get 3x, and then 3 times negative 2, you're going to get negative 6. You have to leave that product, right? When you're multiplying the 3 into the brackets, you have to leave that in brackets, because what is this term saying? This term is saying that all three parts of the term need to be multiplied together. So if you do this, right? If you are multiplying the 3 into the bracket and you just say, okay, 3x and then negative 6 
and now I still have my x plus 5. Now you are going to end up having to multiply that negative 6 into the bracket, but that means that the 3x is never actually going to be multiplied by that second bracket right, by the x plus 5, which it is meant to be. The 3 and the x minus 2 and the x plus 5 are all part of that one term. So all of those parts have to be multiplied together. So grade nines, just to prevent you from making that mistake, I would suggest that you FOIL first. Leave that 3 outside of the brackets and FOIL those brackets out first. This is the way that will lead to you make making the least number of like careless mistakes by leaving our brackets so we're going to foil we're going to say first so x times x is x squared outer you're going to have x times positive 5 which is 5x inners which is negative 2 times x so negative 2x and then negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 you're going to close that bracket Next up, we have a negative 2, and then actually x minus 3 squared, which remember, is the same as x minus 3 times x minus 3. Now, guys, we're going to do the same thing here. We're actually going to FOIL first before we multiply that negative 2 in. All right, so FOIL first, and then multiply whatever is in front of the bracket in last. Okay, so now what you can do, you have two options. I hope that you notice that we have like terms in the brackets. So if you want to, you can leave the 3 on the outside for now and just first simplify these brackets. So get 5x minus 2x is 3x minus 10. And then next you can multiply the, the, minus, the, the positive 3 in, sorry. Or you could have multiplied the 3 in right from the start. Then you would just end up with four terms, which is also fine. All right, so now I'm going to FOIL. So x times x is x squared. Outers, x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Inners, negative 3 times x again is negative 3x. And then lasts, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Okay, now I'm going to multiply my 3 into this trinomial bracket that I have. So 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 3x is 9x. And 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. Now I'll just show you what I meant in my previous explanation where I said you can either simplify the bracket first and then multiply in or you can do what I'm going to do now and you can multiply the negative 2 in to this bracket as soon as you foiled. So we're going to do negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times the first negative 3x is positive 6x. Then negative 2 times the second negative 3x is another positive 6x. And negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. I'm just going to move the next question one line down. All right, and now we have no brackets left. We don't have to multiply anymore. We now are left with just addition and subtraction. So we can now collect our like terms. So we have 3x squared minus 2x squared. That is just 1x squared. And remember the algebraic convention is to not write that one so to just write x squared next up we have 9x plus 6x which is 15x plus another 6x which is going to give you 20 weight 9x plus 6x is 15x yes plus another 6x which is going to give you 21x just had to make sure i did that correctly then we are left with two like terms. So we have negative 30 and we have negative 18. And when we say negative 30 minus 18, we get negative 48. All right, now the next question is another one very similar to question six, just a bit longer. We now have three terms that we have to multiply out here. So we have that one. We have that is our second term and then that is our third term so guys please remember to foil first and here and here all right so foil first then multiply in what was outside the bracket pause the video again and please do this one on your own and then come back to the video and mark your work when you are done doing this question on your own okay you can pause now 
All right, so I'm just going to very quickly run through it. I'm not going to go through every single step. The steps are similar to what we did above. So I'm just foiling out my first pair of brackets. Next up, I'm going to leave my minus 2x squared as it is. Now, guys, I'm going to, in my head, um, oh, let me actually rather just write it out. x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 times x minus 1. And then I was going to say I'm going to do that step in my head, but it's actually better if I just write it out properly for you guys. So next up, the plus 4x I'm going to do first. So x times x, then outers, negative 3x, inners x and then last negative three okay now i'm going to simplify the brackets before i multiply in that's just my personal preference preference <laughs> excuse me you can decide to multiply in straight away if you want to there's no problem with that here i still do need to foil these two brackets so minus x minus x and then plus one and then plus 4x, and here we're left with x squared. Let's see, what were those like terms? Negative 2x minus 3. All right, now since I'm ready to multiply out my first and last terms, I'm not actually going to simplify this middle term, even though I do have like terms there, because I don't want to write another whole line for that. So I'm just going to multiply my brackets out straight away. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, because then my writing is neater. So I'm going to have negative 3x squared here, minus 15x, right? And then we have negative 3 times negative 14, which is positive 42. What's next? We have negative 2x to the 4, plus 2x cubed, and another plus 2x cubed, and a minus 2x squared. All right, and then I'll zoom out right at the end so that you can see all my working steps. From the last bracket, we're going to get a 4x cubed and then a minus 8x squared minus 12x. All right, now we need to, I do have to zoom out now so that I can see all the like terms. Okay, remember guys, you don't have to write your answers in descending powers of x you can if you want to of course but i'm going to start with x squared because that's what i have first here so i have a negative 3x squared minus 2x squared that's negative 5x squared then minus a further 8x squared that is negative 13x squared okay next up i have my x terms i'm literally just going in the order of what terms are written here so we have negative 15x minus 12x those are the only two x terms so that's negative 27x all right next up i am going to do my constant terms 42 oh and that's actually the only constant term that we have okay so plus 42 next up we have an x to the 4 term so let's look at that negative 2x to the 4 and that's also the only one of those. Okay, I'm actually going to take that away because then I can use that color for something else. Negative 2x to the 4. All right, let's look at my x cubed terms. I have a couple of those. Plus 2x cubed plus 2x cubed. That's plus 4x cubed. And then I'm adding a further 4x cubed to it. So that is plus 8x cubed. All right, that is the end of it. Guys, you need to be able to do questions like all of these including questions like the very last one number seven um i don't think it's super difficult to do it's just that there are so many brackets and there's so many multiplication steps and obviously if you make a mistake in even one of those multiplication steps it will throw your whole answer out so just be super super careful when you're doing questions like these and just kind of check each multiplication after you've done it again don't get to the end of the question and only then kind of check your answer it's better to to do a little check as you go along so that if you make a mistake you can fix it before that affects your next step all right you can now continue working on your tuts i will see you guys tomorrow